Welcome to another episode of Triple M, Manners Maketh Man. Now, as you can see, our studio is still in, uh, being built. So we came on location, we are at the Kalahari Mall here in Uppington, um, traveling a bit around, asking people's advice, trying to find out what is the perfect gentleman in today's society. Now to start off, number one, I want to give uh, free hints through today and this is going to be a mini series consisting of four different episodes that brings you back to the basics of being a true gentleman. Now, let's start with the 12 tips that you need to be a perfect gentleman in today's society. Now, first of all, first impressions. Today, it's all about first impressions. It's about the way you present yourself. Well, if I tell you and I say, listen here, um, think about the word gentleman. Usually, the first thing that pops up in your mind is suit, tie, it is polished shoes. But in today's society, luckily, fortunately, it's not anymore about um, shoes, ties, being well-dressed only. No, it's about your attitude, the way you present yourself, the way you handle certain situations. It's all about your attitude, your personal style. It is what defines you. You don't have to try to fit into a certain culture. You don't have to try to fit yourself into and force yourself into something you are not. Be yourself. When you go out there and you go buy clothes, buy something that fits you. Something that describes you. Don't try to be someone else being something else. Be you. But this brings me to my second point. This brings me to my second topic. Bring your hygiene in check. Always make sure you are well groomed, you look nice, you look presentable. Doesn't matter if you're wearing a tie, doesn't matter if you're wearing shorts. Just make sure you always look neat. You always present well towards others. Make sure you don't have unnecessary stains on your shirt when you're going to a business meeting. Make sure you are well groomed. Don't go out there and have this bush beard that's not it. Yeah, I know um, beards are in um, fashion today, but you can trim it a bit, make it look neat. Always make sure, back to basics, brush your teeth, shower. I don't even need to tell you all this kind of stuff. Just make sure you have a great hygiene. And then, I've spoken to a couple of girls and I've asked them, listen here, what's the number one thing that attracts you towards a guy? And if you look back to last week's video, down here you can see the link, just click on it and it will take you back to the last week's video. But you will see Natasha saying there that the number one thing when she first sees a guy, it's about the, the first depression, after that it's the way he smells. Does he smell nice? When you approach a girl and you smell nice, your attractiveness immediately multiplies by 60%. Immediately, you, you appear a lot more attractive to them. So, that is quite an important point that women want you to know. Always smell nice. And just to finish off this whole thing about grooming, always presenting yourself nice, you don't want to uh, come to a date and your date asking you, listen here, where's your cardboard? Uh, where's your paper cup? Because you look like a homeless guy. We're still here in Uppington. Please remember, this bar, subscribe down here, so you can keep up to date with all our videos. Now, here we are at Suzanne Hoesen. Suzanne, you're married, right? Yes, I am. How long? Almost 18 years. 18 years. How, how, how do you get that right? Um, because these days, it's divorce, divorce, divorce. The, most of my friends get married and divorced within two years. and. Uh, how, how do you accomplish something like that? A lot of patience and then there's three things. I uh, it, is this the recipe of successful yes, relationship? Yes, okay? and it's very important to follow it. You do not share your towel, you do not share your food and you do not share your half of the bed. But toothbrush? Toothbrush? Not at all. <laughs> I said this, okay, four things. Yeah, four. And my toothbrush is my own. Okay, and 
accept that uh, is the what what glues you got uh, what what's the glue that keeps you guys together up till now our passion and our love for Jesus Christ that's so, the ultimate glue that will keep any marriage together have you ever fought in your marriage a lot of times <laughs> but it's the makeup that's the best part of any marriage ah so guys there at home four things don't share a towel don't share your toothbrush your food i think all guys go yes because the moment you order fries she'll have a perfect salad and then she'll want your fries yes. it's our food comment down below and tell us what you think about this uh, winning recipe and tell us what you think about manners maketh man remember subscribe Number three, be a grown-up. And with this, I mean in, on the social media front, be a grown-up. When you go to employer uh, and ask for a job, the first thing, it's commonplace these days, the first thing they will do is check your social media account. They will browse through, see what kind of person you are. And they will have a look at who you are. The same with, you won't find a date these days that won't do a little bit of online social media research before deciding to uh, take you on a date. Make sure you are cleaned up your social media profile. Make sure there's no weird stuff on there, like most of us uh, most probably have on there. I'm not saying just have professional ID photos on there. No, show yourself having a good time. Show yourself um, being a people's person as you are. Be yourself on there, but remember one thing. A lot of us cl cleaned up our act throughout the years. And when on your social media account of years ago, there's a lot of weird photos, a lot of photos of you maybe doing incorrect things, not being mature on your social media. I just want to tell you, they're not going to see you as the now you, the, the reformed you, the one that changed your life around and um, is the best you can be. No, they will remember you as the then you. While on this topic, I'm suddenly thinking about one of my friends. Also, when talking to people and having your own business, have a grown-up email account. With this, I'm trying to say, even if it's a free account, which we get these days everywhere, don't have this type of email account that sounds naughty but isn't type of email account? No. Have a professional email account which you can work on social media with. My one friend and I know I will change some of the details but this this is more or less his email address. It's scooter at rdb23 at rocketmail.com. Now just thinking if, if he starts ever starts up a business or anything and he emails me with that account can I take him serious? Guys, that is my tips I want to give through to you today. Um, go through those three tips. I believe you will learn out, uh, you will definitely learn something from this, but it's time for the pickup challenge. Hi man, can I ask you a question? Do you believe in love at first sight or should I walk past again? Sorry, man. Thank you guys for once again joining us with this episode of Triple M Manners Make of Man. This is the part I'm asking you. You see this button here? The one down here, up here, between here? Please subscribe. Keep up with our videos, see what we did. Go watch last week's video. Next week, a brand new video. So don't go away. Yeah, you see it? Subscribe. Comment down below. Tell us, ask us some questions and we will ask the girls to find out what you can do to be the best gentleman you can be.